you uh, have sent me an, an article earlier on a study um, about the relationship between testosterone levels and uh, COVID. So uh, tell us more about that. Yes, so testosterone and COVID is actually a, pre a pretty hotly debated and controversial subject. So this article specifically was an article that was published in Androgen, um, the, 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 the magazine, where it looked at patients who were actually admitted to the hospital with COVID-19, actually to ICU. So those were pretty severe, um, severely affected uh, patients, and they looked at men, and they showed that patients who had low testosterone on admission tended to have a more severe course of the disease. Again, so the hypothesis is that testosterone uh, is actually protective uh, for COVID. It kind of made sense to us because we always said that testosterone decreases inflammation. Studies show that decreases inflammatory cytokine like IL-10, decrease of TNF-alpha. So we know that there is a, a mechanistic pathway that shows that low T increases severity of COVID and higher testosterone, you know, you'll have a, a better course. But um, there was a great review uh, study that I was reviewing a couple of weeks ago where it really shows you that, unfortunately, testosterone is a double-edged sword when it comes to COVID-19. Because mm -hmm. um, statistically, men have been more affected by, by COVID-19. There was a higher percentage of men who suffered COVID and actually died from COVID. And in another study, they showed that men and even women that had male pattern uh, alopecia, male pattern baldness, Co correlated with a high level of DHT, dihydrotestosterone, had poor outcomes, had more incidence of COVID and poorer outcomes. So that article was really, really good. And it explained the double-edged sword of testosterone. So it says definitely that having testosterone via, it's the TRPSS2 um, uh, receptor, um, it increases just having testosterone, just be the men. By the expression of that receptor, it increases the risk of COVID and the, the morbidity and mortality of COVID. So mm -hmm. just being a man may predispose you. But then we have the other studies that are showing that men with lower levels of testosterone tend to do worse. And this is mm -hmm. via activation of the ACE2 receptor. So we have yeah. two competing studies um, that show, to, and to me, the, the conclusion of that study was it is a double-edged sword. Being just being a man and having higher testosterone levels may predispose you, but, to, but when you have testosterone or the late onset hypogonadism, the older men with lower testosterone, that tends to come with more belly fat, you know, like worsening cardiovascular disease, those patients had a poor outcome. So mm -hmm. what is my conclusion when I hear those conflicting and those crazy studies? First is always being on testosterone is not the only answer. But if testosterone is part of a program, a holistic, a holistic approach for better cardiovascular health, for better metabolic health, you know, so again, exercise, nutrition, sleep, hormone balance, including testosterone, this is protective for COVID. So, so this is to me is great. So for us who are preaching that if you need testosterone, you should be on it with the right diet and exercise, that study made it more for me. Yes, it may even prevent you from severe COVID as you get older. Um, and COVID now is previous COVID infections are showing a lot of, a lot of side effects long term. You know, like we're seeing, there's another study that came out that showed patients who were hospitalized with COVID um, had the first few weeks after hospitalization, they have the much, much lower level of testosterone, which again would make sense when you're acutely ill, you have a lot of inflammatory cytokines, your body's not really making a lot of testosterone. And it, it's, in that study, it showed it took almost seven months for the body to recover to normal, to normal levels. So, mm. so, yes, COVID does have a lot of interplay and intermingling with, with androgens, with sex steroids in general, a double-edged sword, but we stay with the same. You use testosterone for better metabolic health, for better cardiovascular health, and then you will have better outcomes in general.